Hey, hey, everybody. This is the Review Revolution, back at you again, taking a look at the next in the DC Comics 75 Years of Superpower Wave 12 DC Universe Classics DC Comics 75 Years of Superpower Wave 12 Calypso. Yeah, let's read everything on the box. Why not, right? Uh, first off, uh, for op- to Optimbotomous, uh, I don't know if you're watching, my friend, but it's something where appreciate you passing that information along. That is great news. Uh, on the review spots, uh, news and updates, uh, Octobotomus left the comment that for uh, non-partners, non-director status um, uh, YouTubers, they've actually given us 15 minutes for our videos now. 15 minutes. I don't think I could fill 15 minutes on a review. Not on a single figure. But it's nice to know that I can... I don't have to worry about going over to 12 minutes or, you know, 13, because I've done that, and it's hard to knock out two or three minutes worth of, uh, worth of conversation without, uh, without, you know, really making it look bad. So, uh, so, Optimbotomous, dude, thanks for the news, really appreciate it. Uh, but, um... I guess not to fill up the time just doing that. <laughs> We're going to look at the figure. And I might be able to fill up all the time if I actually went through and named off all the characters that are on the side. But I'm not going to do that. Um, here we've got Eclipso. And, um, yeah, I really do think that, uh, that at least at the moment, we're probably going to be getting a look at probably the most or one of the most interesting figures that's in this wave. Certainly still a D-lister. I, I don't put him very high on the list. But at least he's not, uh, at least he's not quite as bland as some of the others that we've seen so far. Um, of course, on there we've got the DC Universe logo. 75 years of superpowers, the button, and the adult collector. Which I have a theory on, but I won't go into yet. Uh, Included your Collect Connect figure piece, figure one, which, not sure, maybe a leg. Again, uh, it's something where um, they've not, uh, they've not, they're not saying on the packages who comes with what piece. You know, you can kind of look inside and sort of try and tell, but uh, but they haven't named the piece that goes with the appropriate figure. I wish they would start doing that again. That was something off the previous packaging I really do like. Um, but looking at the other figures, I mean, we're doing Eclipso now. The Spectre, who was, uh, who was done last. Copperhead. Dr. Midnight, we've already done. The Sod, Mary Batson, already done. And Iron. So, actually, with um, Eclipso, that makes four of the seven figures down. So, we're about halfway through. Feels like we just started. Buy all seven figures to build your Collect and Connect Dark Side. Very impressive. Uh, There we have a picture of Eclipso. And his biography, long ago, the Spectre. Now... Perhaps this is why the Spectre and the Calypso are together, because you know there there usually is kind of the arch rivals you know in the waves. So this could very well be the explanation for these two. But long ago, the Spectre defeated the Spirit of Wrath, uh, exiling it its physical manifestation into a black diamond called the Heart of Darkness, and so it remained until Doctor Bruce Gorton found a fragment and was possessed by Eclipso, the early the earthly incarnation of the Spirit of Wrath. During a lunar or solar eclipse, Gorton's alter ego would grant him superhuman strength, uh, let's see, light powers, and use him in its ancient schemes for control over the mortal beings. Since then, Eclipso has possessed others and is ever ready to tempt and corrupt both superhumans and ordinary people. So, kind of a Mephisto kind of character going on here. Uh, first appearance, House of Secrets, number 61, 1963. Real name, Various, as human host. Uh, occupation, Spirit of Wrath, villain. I wonder... I, 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 what else could it be? <laughs> uh, base of Operations, Various. Special abilities can project intense sh- shadow and cold. Can project intense shadow and cold. Uh, superhuman strength, stamina, stamina, speed, and resistance to harm. Uh, flight can project powerful laser beams, possess humans, absorb their unique attributes. 
Project intense shadows. Okay. I don't I don't follow the character all that much. I haven't seen him in too many comics, so project shadows. Okay. Shadow beam. Uh, but um, that's a look at the figure in the pack. We'll take a moment, pop them open, have some fun. Be right back. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We've got Eclipso out of the box, and yeah, uh, so far, Eclipso is definitely best figure in the wave so far. Just overall great, great figure. Uh, as far as character to go, character goes, um, don't know. Uh, you know, it's he's in the universe. He's apparently somebody. So you know, if you're a fan of him, it just makes it even better. But certainly, as far as figure goes, really, really great, really nice. Uh, a very impish kind of a, kind of a, a sculpt. Of course, capture the pointed ears and the pointed hat very nicely. I love the big grin that they've got him with. Very cool. Um, for the most part, again, it is just kind of standard body with two notable exceptions. He does kind of have the collar here, which is an easy enough piece, but certainly, you know, brings out the character. You know, is exactly what 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 the figure what the uh, the way he looks. And then, of course, the belt, which the belt does look a little out of place. It looks a little kind of uh, afterthought-ish. It's not like a separate piece of plastic. It's actually kind of part of the waist. And it does look a little out of place. Like I said, a little bit of a second thought, but not terribly. Not terribly. And again, I'm not a big fan of the of the character, so you know it may not be quite as bad as the way it comes off to me. Um, great job on the paint almost all around. Uh, I guess the only major issue to go ahead and really point out is here. Uh, but that's just the only point. Everything else looks fantastic. Uh, the Eclipse logo on his chest. I love how it has the sun with its rays. Of course, there is the the line between the, the sun and the rays. has kind of the crescent sun. And, of course, the purple moon moving across. I love the two tones of purple used on the legs and the boots. Purple and black, just always a good uh, uh, color combination. And very successfully pulled off here, I must say. Uh, on the face, a lot, a lot of effort went into making sure that the, the the paint on the face came off crisp. I mean, there there is no complaints whatsoever on how the shadow side of his face is painted versus kind of the flesh side. And the flesh on on him, I mean, when you look, I mean, it it, it is more than just kind of this peachy kind of you know, skin tone, there is a lot going on as far as giving him some some actual color. You know, he's not just pale. It's got some color on him. Looks great. Um, no, pain, no pain on the teeth. So, <laughs> he's got that white, pearly smile. Very nice eyes. Very sharp eyes. And the sculpt on the hat has the seam. And just really, really good. Really nice. Uh, for his articulation, the head does turn. There is a up and down, but I think that has more to do with there's a slight the 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 seam here on the neck seems to pull apart a bit whenever I move the head up or down. So I don't know if that's if it's really the ball joint doing its thing or if in fact my figure just has a little bit of a flaw in it. But it certainly turns left and right. Arm goes up, out, twisting the arm, elbow, wrist. Which go ahead and point out. As with every other Calypso figure I've ever seen, he does have the black diamond sculpted into his hand. It actually would have been kind of cool if they gave him his two hands, one that was maybe, you know, sculpted so he could hold something, you know, a weapon or something, and then, of course, the one open hand holding onto the dark or the black diamond. I say that because the other hand is sculpted open also, so you can't really put anything to his hands, but... Again, just like the Spectre, these are kind of magical characters, so they're not very likely to actually be holding weapons. Uh, does have the crunch. The twist at the waist is slightly hindered by the belt, 
So I wouldn't force it too much, but you know it is there. The leg comes up, out, twist of the thigh, knee and foot. It's very good, it's very nice. All around, I have to say, this is probably my favorite figure in the wave so far. Great use of colors, great, great, great paint job, great applications, primo good. Now, of course, uh, along with him, he does come with the leg of Dark Side, which I'm so glad I got longer on the videos to be able to go over all this. But, uh, but when you look at uh, the leg here, I'm, I'll go over this more when we do Dark Side, but I want to make sure to point this out on the leg. There is the sculpting, kind of the the, the cracks on the on the on the on his leg and so forth, the black uh, detail inside. It's really, really good, and considering that once this piece gets attached, you really won't get to see much of this part of the leg because uh, of Dark Side's skirt. But you can see how much they went into the detail to put it on there, despite the fact that you're not really going to see much of it. So I, I give them credit for that. And then lastly, of course, we have the collector's button, which has Guy Gartner, Flash, Absorbing Man, Batman, Wonder Woman, Booster Gold. All these different characters. Um, everyone except Eclipso, surprisingly enough. <laughs> so, buttons are fairly random. <laughs> now, just because you get the character, don't don't expect you're going to get his button along with it. But, um, but this has been a look at the DC Universe Wave 12 Eclipso. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and stick around. Hey, hey, everybody. Just thought I'd fill in these last few minutes and uh, and just, uh, well, have a little surprise. As you all know, every Friday there's a double feature. Uh, this Friday, I want to go ahead and do the first Review Revolution Subscriber's Choice Double Feature Friday. I managed to find three of the four um, figures uh, from the Marvel Universe, uh, the Colossus, Archangel, and Juggernaut. And uh, I'm not sure which one to do. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Starting... Not yet. N now. <laughs> From right now until 12 o'clock uh, uh, Friday, Central Time, 12 noon, this coming Friday. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know who you would like to see as this week's Double Feature Friday. Whoever gets the most votes, I'll go ahead and that's the figure that we'll be doing. So, uh, just to give you guys an idea, it'll be one of these three, but who it is, is up to you. So I look forward to, uh, to your votes. Uh, but, um, take a look. Kind of think it over. And make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.